This is like the weirdest feeling in the world. There's definitely something going on right now. Am I obsessed? Hi, my name is Tahira, and today we're gonna to be trying 10 things that Lily Reinhardt has recommended. What I think about Lily Reinhardt, I don't really have an opinion on her. She's been great at everything that I've seen her do. I feel like I'm one of the few people who kept watching Riverdale past the whole farm arc. I especially love when she played Dark Betty. I was obsessed. Riverdale. I am interested in seeing if her recommendations work for somebody who looks completely different from her. It's one thing to give advice or recommend products to people from your same demographic, but how do these work across the board? Let's try this out. Let's get started. So first up, we have the Beyond Perfecting Super Concealer. Now look at this. I got some issues. I got some issues under my eyes. It's supposed to be 24 hour wear, camouflage. This is allergy tested, 100% fragrance free. It says it's fragrance free, but I smell some. That's not nothing. Oh, that's all. Whoopsies. Whoa. I prefer for my concealers to have a dofa applicator. I feel like they just make it really easy. The whole squeezy thing, like, look, I'm messy. Things get all over the place. I have concealer on me right now. Okay, see, with my fingers, it's a lot easier. Not 100% my fave, but also I don't hate it. This is a great light coverage. I'm just gonna go to the grocery store, pack on some concealer and call it a day. I think it's doing what a concealer does. I wouldn't say that it's full coverage. Based off of that, I would say that I would toss this. I would keep this one. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo in the shade Ebony. She did an interview with Birdie.com talking all about her beauty secrets and she said that this is one of her favorite products. Whoa, this is very dark. I tend to use something like a brow gel, so I'm a little bit nervous to see how this is gonna work for me. I don't know what I'm gonna use for this. I literally don't understand how this works. Is anything even on here? Oh, okay, okay. I think I'm gonna start off with the lightest shade. If I'm applying this wrong, please don't come at me. I've never used this product before. Is this doing something? Do y'all see something? I actually really like this. Minimalistic makeup has been super in right now. So I've been just going with a lighter hand when doing my makeup. My brows can sometimes still be sparse when I just use a brow gel. So I think this would be really cool to fill it in. Anastasia brow products always go to. Even if Lily Reinhardt didn't recommend this, I would still keep it. I realized that it just gave me this really nice fluffy look. This also only took me five minutes, which means a lot to me. Okay, Lily, you might be onto something. This is a keep, y'all. So the next product is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Clean Volume Mascara. One of my favorites. I've never used the clean one before though. Lily is, I think, a brand ambassador for CoverGirl, so she promotes this on her Instagram all the time. And CoverGirl Lash Blast was actually the first mascara I ever used. I haven't used CoverGirl mascara since I was in like middle school. I've never used a clean formula mascara. But if this is what it's like, I honestly wouldn't be able to tell the difference. I don't really like this applicator. I feel like it's a bit too thick. Thinner applicators allow you to really get into curly lashes and like lift and bring them out. I feel like this is kind of just coating them. I hate how it's clumping on the end of my lashes. Yeah, look at that length. Oh yeah. And it kind of makes you feel good inside knowing no bunnies were hurt in the process. The packaging is cute. CoverGirl is a classic, but we're gonna toss this. She promotes products that enhances one's natural features. And so far, I have loved everything that she's been promoting and that she told me to buy. The last makeup product that we're gonna try is the MAC Satin Lipstick, and this is in the shade Brave. Lily did a Vogue Get Ready With Me video, and she actually used this lipstick in that video. The signature MAC lipstick. Look at how gorgeous. Oh, this is a beautiful color. I don't wear a lot of lipstick. I'm a lip gloss girl, so I'm gonna go in with a regular brown lip liner, outline my lips, and then put this in the center. It's like my lips but pinker, which isn't a bad thing. Very natural. This is a color that I think could go great with a night look and great with a daytime look. And because with, with the daytime, it looks kind of like a little natural pinky. I like things to feel like gentle and light on my lips that are easy for me to remove later. So I do really like this formula. Can I keep Ant Toss? Toss this shade, maybe another shade I feel like I would really love. Lips approved. So I'm in the car. I'm gonna go pick up Taco Bell that Lily Reinhardt orders. Hi. Um, can I get a medium Mountain Dew, please? And then can I get three soft tacos with seasoned beef and cheese, no lettuce or tomato? And then can I get some chips, please? Thank you. How are you not gonna get no lettuce, no tomato, no nothing? No sauce, no hot sauce, no salsa, nada. Just, just, just beef and cheese. I'm home, we're gonna eat this Taco Bell. I'm gonna start off with the Mountain Dew because I'm terrified of it. I don't think I like Mountain Dew. I don't remember the last time I had a Mountain Dew. 
It's fine. It's not my soda of choice. I don't really like soft tacos, but we're, we're here. And it's very good. I'm kind of mad she doesn't like tomatoes in them though. I'm not a beef hater. I'm just not someone that naturally gravitates towards beef. Unless it's oxtails because I'm Caribbean. She does get points for soft tacos because hard tacos are disgusting. Let's try the chips and the cheese. Mm, my stomach is not gonna like this today. I'll approve this order. In general, it's a toss. I'm tossing the Mountain Dew. There's just something kind of off about it. So the product I'm gonna try is the Dermalogica Clear Start Blackhead Clearing Fizz Mask. And allow three to five minutes to fully activate. Rinse thoroughly with tepid water and follow with the recommended Clear Start product. Oh, that's not what I was expecting. It smells like shaving gel. Oh, it smells really good. It smells like eucalyptus. This is very interesting. I've never used... Oh, is the product that I... I've had never experienced a mask that you put apply like this before. It's already fizzing. Okay, it's fizzing. <laughs> I look ridiculous. It's literally tingling. Oh my God, it's like tingling my skin. Oh my God. Wait, I feel like I can hear it. What is this? It's like expanding foam. It feels so weird. I don't think I need an entire product dedicated to just blackheads. Like, I just personally don't think I have that many. And my Dermalogica other exfoliant that I use gets rid of my blackheads pretty well. She's cute, but she's a toss. I definitely want to keep it. It felt very soothing, especially towards the end of the fizzing. Um, I could definitely smell the eucalyptus and I could feel it on my face. So the next product I'm going to try out is also an exfoliating product. This is the St. Ives Radiant Skin Scrub with pink lemon and mandarin. This is really cute. So Lily Reinhardt actually made her own in the NYC St. Ives mixing bar. This isn't the exact one, but this is like the closest one. I think I'm gonna use this when I shower. It smells like candy, which I love. I feel like this would definitely be something that I would use in the morning to just make you feel like so refreshed. The beads aren't as big as I thought, which is a good thing. Honestly, the smell was really nice. Um, it didn't feel very irritating. The beads in the scrub were not very harsh. My legs are so smooth. I do have eczema on my arms and it did create like a little bit of irritation. I really love how my skin feels. I feel like even my hands are kind of just glowing and they're so soft. I use it on my forearms and I'm I'm just gonna keep it just because my legs feel really smooth. This is definitely a keep. I love that the smell sticks to your skin so you can smell like a grapefruit, sour patch, starburst all day. I have not had three pebbles in such a long time. So let's, <laughs> let's get started. I used to love fruity pebbles as a kid. Like this is my cereal, I ate it all the time. I doubted myself when I got this. I was like, I'm not gonna like this. I'm gonna throw this out immediately. Mm. I think it's because of how easily they got soggy. I was just disgusted. I just taste the artificial dye. I actually really like Fruity Pebbles. There, I said it. It was nice to go down memory lane, but it's a toss for me. Okay, this is the Airy Swimsuit. It's very, very, um, <laughs> awkward around the chest area but isn't this like the cutest little like one piece i feel really good in this bathing suit right now here are the jeans here are how they look on they are a little bit big but i feel like the drawstring at the waist kind of holds everything together i love that they don't have a button and they don't have a zipper the idea that plus size women always have to be uncomfortable when we're outside because all of our clothing just needs to like cinch us in and we have to wear this and we have like i hate all of that i want to have clothes that just supports me and all of my daily movement and I feel like this is definitely super freeing super chill I'm typically an extra small but I think my chest is a little bit bigger so um, I would definitely size up because I feel very uncomfortable right here definitely keeping this bathing suit okay hey hey you also can style this super casual like I have it I would kind of just throw on some like white sneakers these are definitely a keep I'm super excited to style these with my wardrobe and I feel like they're super versatile so the last and final item is this poetry collection that Lily Reinhardt actually wrote herself. It's called Swimming Lessons. I was super excited to pick this up because I'm a huge bookworm. Literally, all I do is read books 24 seven. So without further ado, I'm gonna spend 15 minutes to just sit back, relax, and enjoy Swimming Lessons by Lily Reinhardt. I got to page 119 and I gotta say, girl, 
thank you for your vulnerability. I definitely related to her using poetry as a way to like cope with her mental health issues, specifically at a young age, like being a teenager. I found myself really relating to a lot of what she was going through in the second half of the book. It kind of just felt like journal entries. And I know that poetry and art is subjective and that may just be her style. But personally for me, it didn't really flow, I guess. I remember learning about poetry. It has to be like such a specific way. You can just pour your heart out and it becomes this beautiful, work of art. I'm not upset that I read it. In the reading world, this just kind of didn't live up to my expectations. I really recommend this, but I'm like, <laughs> I was like reading some of this was like, damn, like why do I relate to this so much? I'm really impressed with the products that she uses. A lot of the things that she advertises that she gets paid to post or that she has talked about, they're all pretty good, clean products. Overall, I feel like this is definitely an interesting experience. It was nice to come outside of my comfort zone. Unfortunately, a lot of them were tosses for me. A lot of them didn't hit the mark, which I'm not really surprised about. And this, I guess, experiment showed me why it's so important to support marginalized content creators, marginalized influencers, and to uplift them because their recommendations do help a lot. My favorite item probably her poetry book i literally was using the brow powder every day since i first tried it out i did it for like a super beat look like full face and i did it for a super light minimalistic summer look and both of the times my eyebrows looked amazing so shout out to you lily lily reinhardt i approve of your items